All right, this is the tire changing machine we got. It's kind of cool. Uh, we're playing with it tonight to make it work. See if we can figure it out. So we grab the old trailer tire, the spare tire for the trailer. Put it on there. Put the lug nut through this little spot so it doesn't spin. Screw this guy on. Screw it down. All right, we're set there. Now let's see. Next thing we want to do is take the uh, the valve out so this doesn't cause trouble. I might not need to do this, but take the valve out, valve stem, push the air out, and uh, while this is letting out. We'll explain how this works. There's a piece here. This piece goes up and pushes on the bead in the bottom. This piece goes over the top. We can adjust it in and out, up and down. We get it close to the rim. And that'll push the bead down here while it's pulling up on that side. And it breaks the bead from the wheel. All right, now the air's out, let's break the bead. tool the slot in it for up here and we put it like this into the first side lay it on there and this thing will spin when I push the machine I want to make sure this is down in the middle of the wheel so all right yep we're good Slides off. Same thing, do it to the bottom. Hook that thing to the bottom. Well. That's it. Tire's off. Put the tire on. Similar, so let's put this on like this. This end it gets used now, put this on the wheel, like this, and the tire under here. So hook down here, tire here, like that, on the thing on top. Then we kind of push down it to get as tight as you can on this side. Go around, 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 around. One side on. Same thing on the top, just like that. I heard a good idea from a video we watched. You gotta push down here to keep the tire in the middle of the low part of the wheel so it doesn't get too tight when it's stretching it. And you can get your fingers pinched in here if you're not careful as it sucks it tight. So they say, use your knuckles so you don't get your fingers in it. So we'll give it a try. Be a little too tight. All right, well, it's my first time, I guess I get a, I get a pass, right? Probably need some more, some more tire gum. Just enough, I don't think there's much left in this handy little bottle. Probably needs to be replenished. See if we can get that to work. What do you think? This needs to go on this side of the. Do it like this. It's going to be like this. Like that. All right. I think we got that figured out. <laughs> we'll find out soon. All right. Push down like that. Just 
like magic, I guess. So, and then uh, there is a bead blaster on it, like a big tube underneath here. If you can look at that, see up here? There's a tube and there's some high pressured air that's supposed to blast up and set the bead. It doesn't really work with this tire or this wheel. I don't know why. I just uh, tried it with the ratchet strap and we're able to get the bead to set, but it has air here. And uh, you can connect this up. And when you use these two pedals down here, these are what activate the air, air pressure here, or the machine. So you can use your hands to work on the tire up here while you're still using the machine for beat. So you can connect this up. Let's try the blaster and see what happens. Are you ready? Ooh, that's loud. That didn't work. All right, well, we use our ratchet. Got the bead to set. Everything is good. Kind of cool. Anyways, that's it.